All right, here's a look at the old Phasma deck. As you can see, I still have the, uh, this is the prior incarnation. I have the uh, TIE and the Viper Probe joint here. And uh, I don't know that I left this match out. I believe I did. Um, but I want you to look at the card levels here. Uh, he's up. He's up. Those match. He's up on the Epic. Uh, we have another rare. He's up by four levels on that rare. And every common. He's up a level two in one instance. So I wanted to showcase this. Uh, and he's in Kyber. He's probably, I've played this guy several times. He's probably, you know, comfortably coasting along between whatever, you know, 56 and 57 or whatever. Staying there around the, the Kyber Challenger area. Which is usually, I, I go from anywhere from like, whatever, 56 to 58. Um, sometimes more. But yeah, uh, I don't know what he's doing with his deck. Um, I had a lot of energy building up and I wanted to get that tank out there. So I just went ahead and gassed his, uh, his Pathfinders there, the Rangers. And I hate Kane and Jarrus. He's just broken. So yeah, we're gonna... I'm going to go ahead and drop my unique on him. I don't care. Spend it. If he dies, whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's what he's there for. And then I'm going to go ahead and run with the land tank, man. I just want them to focus on that thing so that I can swap him. And uh, should have dropped the hammer there. Um, probably could have finished that horde off a little quicker. I would have got another hammer strike out of it. But uh, I'll take the down, you know. Hear the thrilling music. I love Star Wars scores of any type. So yeah, here goes another tank. And as soon as I down this guy, Terex should stun somebody. Yep, as I love him, man. I can't. And I've only seen him in the season shop like once. Go ahead and scroll this for you. Yeah, I like to hang out, hang out in this area here, um, in between the towers, uh, perimeter, because as a range character, I can poke him from over here. And Phasma has a pretty long range, because her DPS is low. You have to find a way to sustain fire. Um, and of course, look who it is. They have to find a way to uh, to sustain fire on him for duration. So that's why I chose to, to use a land tank with Phasma. Uh, and also the Viper before too because it has a high health pool. It's got a really slow fire rate and, you know, moderate damage or whatever. I try to snatch a health here. I fail. I do have, I do manage to gas them. Um, but yeah, you got to find something to tank behind. And, uh, you know, I guess I could use an ATST. Um, it'd probably be more effective given the rate of fire of the land tank is just abysmally low. Um, I don't know. Let me know. I do a lot of, uh, deck construction, deck crafting theory and whatnot in discussion with the clan, so, um... One of my primary concerns right now is how to deal with Obi-Wan Kenobi because I'd like to like actually be able to win a match with him ever. But yeah, you can see that was all on that defense, man. He could not do anything about that tower. And one of the reasons being is because she's got a, her range is like 6.75 or whatever. It's like, or 6.25. It's just outside of the, the like normal range of most uh, range units. So you can kind of stand back and poke. Stand back and poke, then you can take a step back, poke, step back, poke, you know, and, and you just leapfrog around. And then once you got something to stand behind, I mean, it makes her all that more powerful. That's why I like the supports with her. Um, I did pull the tie strike out of there. I don't know. I might put it back in. Like, it'll be a modular type thing, you know, where it's just like, take one piece out, put another one in. But yeah, that's it for now.